What's going on nieces and nephews? Your favorite Uncle Mudcat is back with another video and today we're going to be talking about G Fuel. Alright? Before we do that, let's go ahead and let's get us a drink. Alright? Because I am thirsty. Alright? That summer heat is something fierce. Alright? But Uncle Mudcat's going to make it better. Going to make it all better. Got to dig out my old scooper here. Got to dig out my scooper. Got my scooper. Go ahead and add the mix. Get out of there now. Come on. Get out of there. Got to tap the bottom on it. We are drinking the Spyro Dragon Fruit. When I pre-ordered it. And it came with the cup. It also comes with my box that I got up there. Let's give it a good shake. Well, good lord. Shake it over here. Alright, that should be enough. Alright, as you can tell, we're going to be talking about G Fuel. And as you can tell right here, uh, you can enter for a chance to win a mini fridge when you sign up through your email or text. Okay. Um, let's go over here to their sales that they have going on, right? We're going to talk about that. Okay, um, the prices are very, you know, sometimes they're good deals, sometimes there's bad deals. Like, for example, the uh, Sniper Wolf Bundle. Uh, I mean, come on, if you can tell, I mean, you look over here, you look at the Blood, Sweat, and Tears Bundle. Basically the same thing, but cheaper, whereas the Sniper Wolf Bundle. You know, after you get through with shipping, you're looking at close to anywhere from 55 to 60 freaking dollars, right? Um, and as for this, this right here, the uh, Battle Juice, the little sample packets, you're basically paying a dollar a piece for them. Three dollars versus, you know, the one dollars. This right here is, okay, you know, it's decent. I ain't got a problem with it. Um... This right here, uh, I think they should knock the prices down because uh, you're paying 30 bucks alone. Well, might as well round that up to the nearest dollar and just say $35. Just be on the safe side for this alone. Plus, you're adding that. So, you're paying 10 bucks for four cans of uh, G Fuel. When I can go to a gas station, dude. And probably get at least one can for a dollar, but you're paying ten dollars for you know that. It'd be cheaper just buying it in singles in the grocery store, in my opinion, wherever they sell it at. But if you're gonna go to a vitamin shop, you're gonna be spending about ten dollars on four cases. So it just all depends on how you look at it. But if you're on a budget, yeah, this would not be for you. It'd be this will be more of your budget right here. These little sample packets. No offense. Just being honest. I mean, this is more like if you're on a budget and you enjoy G Fuel, this will be your best alternative. But if you got money and you know you got you got whatever you got, you can buy whatever you want. All right, just saying. Um, this is also a good deal I mean kinda I mean you're paying let's see this is three dollars and for this thing a starter kits eight dollars well let's just go ahead and say three dollars on that four five six seven eight let's say how many of them coming one two three four five six seven I might as well say almost maybe a dollar a piece for those so it's not too bad but Originally was fourteen dollars. Now fifteen dollars, in my opinion, is a little steep. Okay, some of these prices again doesn't make sense. Okay, let's go to. All right, we already went over this. You get a cup plus that for forty dollars. Uh, I think I paid that much for uh, the bundles I got. I could be wrong. We we'll have to go back and look at it. But. It came with a cup sticker, but nothing fancy. Again, 
Originally it was forty five ninety eight. Now it's forty bucks. So you're saving about six bucks apparently. Now this right here, I'm just gonna be out front and say you're just paying for the name. All right, you're getting six uh, of the uh, Diablo Immortal cups because of the the game that dropped. You're paying that for that. Uh, I think a dollar ninety nine for a single can is reasonable because some places like when I go to Tennessee or the vitamin shop in Huntsville, you're paying about close to that price. Uh, certain places are a little cheaper, but that's okay in my opinion. Three dollars, I would say decent, okay, or fair. Dollar nine nine, even better. Same thing for over here. Okay. So now that we go over, we went over all that. Okay, here's what I was talking about: the collector's box edition. Uh, if we click on it. I'm uh, pretty sure it'll tell you what you'll get. Yeah, it tells you right here. Like, you'll get the box, the uh, mix, and the shaker for $4. I mean, not $4. I wish. But uh, you're saving $4 because, you know, 40 bucks, And then, you know, yeah, you do the math. And then they got these little deals. Try to get more money out of you. I mean, I get it. They got a business they got to run. You know, it is what it is. See, here's the thing that kind of gets me, okay? Remember earlier we saw that one? How much was that one? $8, right? Scroll down here. It's basically the same thing, but you're paying 13 bucks for it. Now, that's the kind of stuff that kind of goes, uh, what are you doing? But I'm pretty sure most of these are just YouTubers anyway. Because they support YouTube YouTubers. I mean, I get it. All right, let's go on to the next sale that they may have going on. Uh, but basically, you, you kind of get the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go over here to uh, Shop Now. Let's go over that. Okay. All right, here's their, uh, you know, like collector's edition, I guess you would call it. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. You can watch it there. They also got the power pellet. I know in the video when I reviewed that, I kept saying pallet. I don't know what was going on. I guess it was that kind of thing. But I'm gonna go back one. Now this is on sale for thirty bucks. Originally thirty-five ninety-nine, might as well say thirty-six dollars. But after shipping and everything, prices go up. I think people don't necessarily uh, count the shipping. And then you got your, you know, collectors boxes like this right here. Let's see what's so important about this right here the uh, collector's box for this. Nothing, it's just Patman, you know, again, you're just paying for the name and a cup that has, you know, a Patman face on it. Nothing really too fancy about it. You know, there's nothing fancy at all. Okay, and it only comes with the box and uh, these, not this, they don't come with the can drink, just the Images right here on the left, but there's nothing fancy, you know, about it. Uh, where my, where the, there we go. There's nothing fancy about it. I, some things they just overprice. Like, see for example here, you see all these different flavors and whatnot, and then you're gonna charge that. We're gonna click on it one more time and read the description. If they even have a damn description. Ooh. They got a bad review. Not all 
see, even people right here agree that it's uh, a little expensive. And see right here, that's all it came with. That's all it came with was just that. When you go to Walmart and pay $2 for the canned version of that, which is this right here. I mean, it's just, it's got its pros and cons. Some things are affordable while other things makes you think, what the are you thinking, right? Just too expensive. All right, same deal over here with the Resident Evil joint for the uh, remake of Resident Evil. Same thing, you know, the Lost Plagas shaker along with their little fancy cup here that's made out of, you know, plastic. If they're charging you for the cup, it's gotta be for the print. That's it. You're just basically paying for the name. Nothing too crazy there. And as far as the drinks go, like the case drinks, I think it's just too expensive. For four cans, you're paying 11 bucks for. I know in the vitamin shop, I think it was like, I could be wrong, I think it was like you get like 12 cans for like 20 or 30 bucks at the vitamin shop. So, I, I honestly, I just think that's a little too expensive. That's just my opinion. And I know they're making money with all these daggum YouTubers they sponsor. Now let's go over here to my, my thing. You see right here, I got, hang on a second, I'll show you. I got this exact same drink right here, right? Ain't never opened it because you know I'm collecting it. I bought this in Huntsville for two bucks. Two bucks. Come on, G Fuel. It's ridiculous now. I freaking paid two bucks for that daggum thing. And they also had the powder. Instead of you know thirty-six dollars, it was thirty. I can't remember. Yeah, it was this one right here they had. That was just 30 bucks. They only had these two at the uh, bottom of the shop. But, yeah, man, I just think it's crazy. I mean, think about it. You're paying already 30 bucks for this, right? Then they're going to charge you 10 bucks for the cup as well. But they're all sold out. This was their best seller, in my opinion. Uh, but the problem with G Fuel is... What's their best seller? It never returns. That's like with the, um, the Resident Evil uh, 3 and the Sweet Tea version, I believe. They only brought it back, like, what, once or twice? Well, twice. The one that was the original, then the remake, and that was it. We've never seen it again. And they had it in this and in those little packets. Let's see what's so special about this cup. Probably nothing really. Yeah, nothing special. That's not even Dragon Ball. I mean, kind of looks like a messed up of freaking key blast, in my opinion, or freaking destructive disc with energy forming around it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I wish they would literally step up their game, but who am I kidding? Another problem I have with uh, G Fuel is they're not really available nationwide. I mean, Amazon, they basically don't charge you the same price. Uh, Walmart and the vitamin shop go in there in person. Uh, I haven't seen it in Target yet, nor Rite Aid. But I have seen it in this. This was what I was trying to tell y'all earlier in my G Fuels is, I guess that's pronounced Faye. They had this in the uh, Huntsville Mall. But I wish they would have this everywhere, you know, not in just select places. They also have it, they also said it was in Kroger's, but me personally, I haven't seen it. All right, I have not seen it at all. We already know about the uh, giveaway, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
And then this is your points, you know, your little doohickey for your earned points. You know, give ten dollars, get three hundred XP, and you know, you get to, you know, like right here, you know, if you reach twenty five hundred points, you redeem it. You also get, you know, give a friend ten dollars and thirty, you know, whatever, and you you get to buy like you know, shakers and things like that. Um, which is, I'm glad they do that, but at the same time, you're going to be spending a ton of money just to get those rewards. It's kind of like a scheme a little bit. You know, you catch my drift. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there you have it. You know, the pros and cons of G Fuel, and that's just my opinion about it. To me, I look at it, they're a very big company. But I think the reason why, this is just my opinion, you know, I'm not an expert, but I'm just saying my opinion. Like, with these, like, video animation games that they're trying to promote for their product, I get why they would price it the way they do, because they're probably paying, you know, another person that owns, like, you know, the name Spyro or Sony or whoever, they're paying them off because they're using their trademark, I guess you would say. And that's why they're raising the price off so they can pay off these people that they're, uh, you know, have a deal with to sell their product in agreement for money. But that's just my opinion. But still, you know, if you're going to pay 30 bucks, you know, you're paying for the name brand. But they do have sales that go on, like, for these. Uh, buy one get one now that's a deal breaker you know you buy one of these you get one free and you're set for a while that's a good price as well I forgot to mention that but I mean it's just everybody's got an opinion about it but to me some things are good while others are just like you know what are you thinking you know that's just too expensive but I get they gotta pay off people that have this you know, whoever owns Dragon Ball Z or Spyro or all these markets, you know, of video games out there, they're paying them off. And to be honest with you, that's their whole point, I believe, you know, because, you know, G Fuel, they say it's more than just gaming fuel. Let's be honest. Half the people that buy these are gamers. Let's get real. Nobody's buying this as a workout product. They're buying it so they can stay awake and charge and play games. And for them to have their business up and running, I mean, they got to pay some people off. I'm just saying. So I get why it's expensive. But at the same time, uh, I just think some of the prices are just too daggum expensive. I mean, G Fuel could have been unique in their own way instead of ripping off, you know, something that's already been established but again you know that's just my thoughts about it but let's be honest nothing's really original anymore but that's just my two cents do I like G Fuel absolutely uh, I just wish again they'd uh, cut down their prices because it's just too expensive on certain items you know some of them are good but if I buy G Fuel you know, like I said, I'll go to Huntsville, Tennessee, and I'll get it for a lot cheaper that they're selling online for. That's just my two cents. Love you, G Fuel, but I don't think most of my business is going to be online anymore. I think I'm going to just, if I want one of your products, I'll just go somewhere where it's cheaper and I can afford it. <laughs> and I ain't got to pay for shipping. The only thing I got to pay for is gas. Which I guess is basically the same thing as, you know, shipping costs, but I digress. But I do enjoy your products, but I do have a couple suggestions. Besides cutting down and managing your prices better. Number two, every time you release a product, make a canned version. Okay, please make a canned version. And not only that, how about this? Uh, just a you know idea because you know if you run a business, you got to have a creative mind. 
which half these companies lack, okay, is a mind. I would do a sample pack with the cans, like make it an eight ounce can and have like a good majority of flavors in it, like you did with the, uh, you know, these little joints, the little sample, sample packets here, and do that. Because me personally, I've said it time and again, the can versions, in my opinion, are a lot better. I think I rambled up enough about G Fuel. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, comment down below on what your thoughts and opinion are on this particular video subject here. And uh, also let me know if you've tried any G Fuel and what's your favorite. There you have it, nieces and nephews. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. Well, let me rephrase it. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Till next time, this has been your favorite Uncle Mud Kit. And I'm probably going to make another video. Uh, probably a gaming video. I ain't figured it out yet. But you'll know when it's up. See y'all folks later. Y'all take it easy now.